Hello, Organo Gold. Uh, Patrick here and excited to be with my good friend and leader of the Grow Team at Rapid Funnel, Micah. Good to be with you. All so, right, it's good to be here in the Grow Team and Rapid Funnel's ready to grow Organo. Let's go. Exactly. And so, so guys, I'm, we're going to dive right in. We're going to move very quickly through this presentation. We hope that you'll be as excited as we are uh, by the time we get to the end of it. And our ultimate goal is customer acquisition. It's to help you build a larger business, um, both on the sales side and the recruiting side. And so to start, we're gonna talk at a very high level and talk about how technology is both good and bad in the networking industry. Some of the challenges it's creating and how to overcome them. Number two is we're gonna talk about some of the specific features and resources and show you the app itself that is now available to everybody in the company. And third, we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can use the platform and the features, the technology, to build a larger organization through leadership, through creating a cadence of accountability, if you will, in your organization, creating a culture that is comfortable with prospecting and all the things around it. So let's dive right in. Uh, here, you've got, uh, you've got your team app um, that is available, and um, we're going to leverage uh, the concept of authentic sharing technology, which what is that really? Look, in its simplest form, there's a lot of technology out there, and um, sometimes too much information creates confusion. You know, Michael, when I got started in the industry, which I'll date myself here, it was 25 years ago, I had a single VHS tape, a phone to use, a meeting to go to, and a fax machine. And that is it. I mean, it was hard to mess up because it was so darn simple. Today, there's a lot of technology out there, but it wasn't designed specifically for, for these guys' business. And so what you're going to see in this rollout are tools that were designed specifically for Organo. They were tools that were built with your leadership to make it easier for you to go build the business. And so I'll take a minute here and talk about that and just say that authenticity is critical in our business, right? It's in your business, especially in a business where it's all about customer acquisition. What is customer acquisition? It's about authenticity. It's about a real product that has a real value in the marketplace. And so, the business, the fundamentals of good businesses and networking have always been the same. Person to person, relationship to relationship. It's got to be about authenticity. On the other side of that, where the environment has changed. So we're in this information age and digital age, and there's all these different tools, social selling tools and digital tools. And unfortunately, a lot of these tools were built for the digital marketer. Things like capture pages, webinars, autoresponders, and surveys. It was built for a one-to-many approach. Now, that's great for the digital marketer or the maven. It's great if Organo wanted to sell direct to the consumer themselves, but they sell, they market through a team of people, and that's you. So this has created many challenges. Right, not only from a liability perspective, because people are using all kinds of different stuff, but you don't have any real activity metrics on what your team is really doing, right? Simplicity and duplication of network marketing have been replaced by complexity and tech fatigue. So here's authentic sharing technology. It's where all of these tools are put into the app, which I'm gonna show you in just a little bit here. They're put directly into your phone so you've got an advertising agency in the palm of your hand. All of these tools are still available, these digital tools, but they're already pre-built for you. The capture pages, the surveys, the campaigns, the calendar of events, everything at a touch of a button. So I can bump into my friend Micah. We're sitting there maybe at an airport. I just met Micah. We have a few minutes of conversation. I found out where he's traveling to. I find that he loves to travel. And, and right there on the fly, I'm like, hey, Micah, you know, I don't know if this would interest you, but I'm with a company. We have a program called Travala. I'd love to get you some information. Micah says, sure. I hand him my phone. He puts in his information, and boom, 
I put them in a campaign or I send them a capture page or a survey specifically around Travala. It's that fast and efficient. This is authentic sharing technology. The winners in this industry are going to be the companies that really understand. And Organo is on the cutting edge of that. I've had so many incredible conversations with Paul Caldwell, who understands the business. Christelle, the executive team. And not only that, but, but as a platform, we are working not only with the executive team, but key leaders in the field to co-create with the leadership in the Organo field to make the business simpler, to give you the tools that you need to increase prospecting and follow-up. So uh, the losers that don't take advantage of, of the, the technology that's available today and authentic sharing technology, the companies that don't make it simpler and easier, the reality is um, the winners are gonna gobble up that business. And I think that's exactly where Organo sits. Now, one last thing at a high level before we show you the app itself. Um, and I know, Micah, you may want to have some comments on that. I, I think you've been going through the book, uh, being relatively new to, to our company, but understanding the industry, having experience there, and then reading the four disciplines of execution. Um, I know it was an eye-opener for me. When I went through it the first time, I'm like, I mean, an eye-opener in the sense that this is the business, that this is what I did over 25 years earned millions and millions of dollars. One is I focused on what was wildly important for the individual distributor. Two is we identified what was the lead measure. What was the thing that each person needed to do who had a wildly important goal? What was their two or three things, the lead measures that would lead to more production, more results? And that was prospecting and follow-up. If the Organo Gold story is getting told more often, you're going to win, right? If the follow-up is better with Organo, you're going to win. Number three is keep a compelling scorecard. Is do you have a scorecard right now, not only for yourself, but for your team as well around what? Well, it's the lead measure. It's the thing that matters the most. Now, some of you will relate to this. You know, Mike, Mike when I got started, and you're muted, Mike, if you're talking. Oh, and nope. so, so go ahead. Did you have a comment? Oh, yeah. It's just the old adage. You know, I was an All-American decathlete in college, and we always said, you know, if you put in the reward, the rewards will come, right? And, you know, the lead measure is the work, and the rewards will come. If you, if you tell the story enough, you're going to get results. So just wanted to add that. No, that's it. And, and sometimes we get confused about what is the work? Like, what is the thing that's the highest payoff activity? It doesn't actually mean it's a guarantee that you'll win, but you can't win without it. You can't win without the work. You can't win without telling the story. And so you want a scorecard too. You know, in the decathlon or any other sporting event, there's a scoreboard. Everybody knows where everybody stands and if you can create a culture and you have a scoreboard. So when I started in the industry 25 years ago, my sponsor said, fax me your tracking sheet. And I looked at that tracking sheet and I knew it took five minutes to make a proper exposure. And I knew 10 exposures took 50 minutes. And when my sponsor said at the end of the week, fax me your tracking sheet. And I told him I was working 20 hours a week. And I had 10 names on that sheet. 50 minutes total, I knew what he was going to say to me, right? He was exactly. going to be like, hey, what did you do with the other 19 hours? This is built into the platform now, right? You can see it right on your screen and your team screen. And then number four in the four disciplines, which I'd really encourage if, you know, if you're a leader, if you're saying, hey, I want to build a bigger business, this is the book. It's the best-selling business book in the world. It's not an accident. The Fortune 500 have used it. A uh, new edition, I don't know how many times it's gone to reprint, uh, but a new edition is about to come out. But the fourth discipline is create a cadence of accountability. And that ultimately, in its simplest form, is a culture that is very comfortable talking about the lead measure, right? So this is exactly what's going to happen. You're gonna go download the app. You're gonna to go to Rapid Funnel and the, uh, in the iTunes 
or the Android Play Store, and you're going to type in Rapid Funnel. And then as soon as you do that, I believe the username is Organo. Do you know, Micah? Yeah, the group code's Organo. So that's all they do. Is the first thing the app will ask you is for your group code, and then give them a little bit on what that process is. Uh, just at a high level, what, what they can expect as far as the questions there, Micah? Uh, yeah, um, you put in your group code Organo, you'll put in your name, you'll put in your email uh, that you use in the business, and then also you want to put in your mobile number, and then you'll want to make sure you accept all the, the notifications, get the time zone right, and uh, then, you know, the app will be loaded. Are you going to load the app, Patrick? I'm not going to load it. I'm just going to dive okay. right into the app itself. One Perfect. thing I do notice sometimes, though, Mike, is people put in like a business name. And I don't think they realize then how, how emails and things come through when they do that. It seems logical, but they really want to put in their first and last name, correct? Absolutely. First and last name. And uh, there's also a, in that step process, there's a, an email for an additional teammate. Um, you know, make sure you put that, you know, that would FYI, maybe your upline uh, or, or, you know, who sponsored you if you want, but make sure you get their permission before you do that. I think that's step three. Awesome. And, and that is, um, you know, that, that team, that trainer uh, partner email that it asked for, this is important for you guys as a leader. So when I sit down, let's say I was training Micah and he was uh, a new distributor on my Organo team. I would sit down and while he's downloading the app, I would say, hey, put me in as the training partner. So when he makes an exposure, when he shares the opportunity or the business um, or the product with somebody and they click on information to view it, I get notified as well. Now, Micah has to be comfortable with this, but if I've done a great job onboarding, he'll say, yeah, I want your support. I want you to know what's going on. Um, and so that's what that training partner email is. Now, here we are looking at the app right now. And again, this is very high level. Micah and his team, every couple of weeks, are going to be providing training on an ongoing basis um, to help Christelle and the team make sure to educate you on really incredible features. So we're not going to dive into all the features. I just want to give you a really high level overview. And then these guys are going to take the ball and they're going to help you. We've got a great support team. Why don't you walk them through how they can reach out to support yeah. once they download the app and I'll show it here. Yeah, absolutely. First thing, maybe go into more and go into settings real quick. Patrick, that's where most people get hung up in settings. And just let's take a look at what you got there. And then, of course, with the notification settings, make sure you have all those checked because if you don't, you're not going to get notified when a prospect uses a resource. Um, scroll down. There you go. Perfect. Save. And then uh, manage groups. There you'll see the group code. And it should be Organo right there. There it is. Um, go back. And again, we'll be adding additional group codes for different things. And that will be cool. We'll get into that in later trainings. And then just account settings is where you can change, you know, anything there. Make sure you're in the right time zone, of course. Um, it should default to where your phone is. Hit save. And then... You know, so so that's for whatever where reason, just, for whatever reason, I was in Mexico City. Um, I'm not sure, and that may have been a, a result of being on a demo app. But as as Micah said, make sure you've got the right time zone. Yep. And those, so those are the basic things in setup that we see. And then you know, scroll down a little bit. This is important too, Patrick. You know, the Facebook URL, your distributor ID. That's very important right there. Um, your Gano username. And then a lot of people don't fill these out, but the Facebook, Twitter, if you have them go ahead and put the full URL in there. It would be, you know, like mine, mine is facebook.com slash Mike Agadio. And then and that populates uh, on your, on your uh, replicated pages in, in rapid funnel. So just that's the basic setup. And then uh, and in terms of the replicated pages, so like capture pages are built into the platform and at the bottom, there might be a get started button where your prospect will go directly to your organo website but in order for that to work, you need to make sure the username is correct under the Organo username. Right, Micah? That's right. And I think, is there a question mark there, Patrick? You could uh, give some explanation. Yeah, click the question mark. And uh, there you go. Oh, Please that's enter. pretty cool. I didn't know that. That's awesome. 
Yep. So if you get stuck, you can look at that and that will give you a brief explanation of exactly what to put in there. Not the full URL, just your Organo username. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Micah. And then, and then guys, right here on the front page, I want you to see something that's powerful. We talked about the lead measure, prospecting and follow-up. What if you could tell not only the quantity, but the quality of the exposures that were happening in your organization? You knew exactly what folks were doing. So once I had a, a, a young lady I was speaking to in a company, and she was very dynamic. She had all the skills, the ability um, to build a large organization, and she was talking a very good game, but she wasn't actually talking to people. And at this particular event, I was, I was showing everybody how a brand new distributor was lighting it up. And I was showing how many exposures this distributor had made. You know, I, when I got to this particular individual I was referring to, I said, check this out. I said, how do your numbers look? Now, remember, we're building a voluntary army. This isn't the military. You can't beat folks up. But I said, hey, how are your numbers looking? She goes, oh, it's not really working for me. I was like, well, what part? You know, nobody's getting information. And I said, well, let's take a look. And she had made about one exposure in 30 days. And the one exposure she made was to her husband, <laughs> who was obviously already a distributor. And, and then she started to get pretty emotional because she realized um, that she hadn't been exposing, sharing the opportunity with anybody. And I put my arm around her and hugged her and I said, listen, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You can just be part of the team if you want to. You don't have to make, it, you don't have to share the opportunity. But do me one favor, don't tell everybody how hard you're working if you're not really doing the numbers. We love you regardless, right? And I believe that should be your approach. Just love everybody regardless, but now you have a tool to help really identify who's working. Another event I was at, this young lady had made 400 exposures in about two months. And I said, hey, let me take a look at your numbers. How's it going? And she started to cry, it's not going very well. And I said, well, what's happening? And long story short, she made 400 exposures, but only 7%. So where, where it says stats right here, it says 43% on the front of the home screen. She had a 7% number. That means 7% of 400 people or 28 people had clicked on the information she had sent them. Turns out, through questioning, I found out she was an Uber driver. And the minute they got in the Uber, she started going into an opportunity pitch. They didn't want anything to do with what she was doing, but she was hungry and she was teachable. So we coached this young lady up on a better approach. And over the next few months, she moved to 73% engagement. 73% of the people that she talked to were engaging in information and she proceeded to make her first $50,000 in the business. Folks, I'm telling you, if you hold yourself accountable and you can help hold your team accountable to the level that they want to succeed and not beyond, right? Maybe encourage a little beyond. Some people need you to believe in them more than they believe in themselves. But you have all the data right now on the front screen of this app. You can immediately see this week, today, this month, how many exposures did they make and how many people engaged in the information? So it's just, it's really powerful. And as you read four disciplines, Micah, you know, you realize, wow, this is, I don't have to do a lot else. I take the tools my company has. I focus on building and the methodologies um, and the way that we're building, but I focus on the lead measure and good things are going to happen. I make sure to work, <laughs> right? Absolutely. So moving on here, I'm just going to click. Every one of these buttons is active. So if I click on resources right now, these are the organo resources. Now, you can lead with the opportunity if you wish to, but obviously a big focus in organo is customer acquisition first. With such an extraordinary product, if you get people using the product, they're going to become interested in the business. So if I go to beverages, OGX, BU, or Travala, immediately I can click on any one of these categories. If I'm at the airport, like I said earlier, and I talk to Micah, and I click on Travala, 
Here are my resources. And they're organized so I know exactly what to do. Peak, present, follow up, enroll, right? So if the very first thing I do in talking to, to Micah at the airport, what am I going to send them? You know, am I going to send them something to enroll or am I going to send them something to peak? The point is, this is simple for everybody. I'm going to click on peak. I'm going to click on Travala. And you see these three buttons that pop up at the bottom down here? Boom. I can email them. I can text them. Or I can send them this content on any social media platform I want. If he's a friend and I normally communicate on Facebook or Instagram, that's what I'll do. But if I met him for the first time at the airport, I might just want to text him that information. Right? As simple as that. It'll right. pull up my... And, yep. Go ahead, Micah. And very, and very important to know that the way Patrick went in there through resources, those are your generic links. Those are best to, to like you could post on social media. It's best to go through the contact and send those resources so it's tied. So walk them through that, Micah, and I'll do it. Yeah, absolutely. Go into contacts and let's just import. You could probably import me. I can just use one of these. I yeah, won't, that's I won't click through. Yeah. April. So I click on, uh, I click on Camillo here. Then I go. click on resources. Send resources. Yep. Travala. Maybe I want to go then to Travala, then peak interest, then I send it. And what you'll notice then is now when I click on text, it goes to that person, it puts the link in there, and it's going to automatically send them that particular resource, which is trackable. So when I go back to that prospect, I can go to their activity log, and I can see exactly what they've done, what information they viewed, what percentage of the video they watched. If they filled out a survey, I can click on notes. I can see what, how they answered the survey questions. And I've got a score right there of 56. Now, I rated him a five-star prospect. What if I rate him a four-star prospect? Well, the score drops to 50. There's still a hot prospect. That's the red button right there. If I back you can also, up, yep. You can also set a reminder there to follow up. I can click on reminders right there and schedule a follow-up reminder. And it's super fast. I want to schedule a reminder for, boom, tomorrow, okay, at 12. 30 p.m. Boom. Okay. And that reminder goes into my Google calendar or my iTunes uh, iPhone calendar straight away. So listen, we're not going to get too much deeper into this. What I want you to know is you've got all the tools. And one thing about this platform is it's proven. This is not a, a platform for you to hide behind it's going to help you augment to drive the natural behaviors that should be happening in networking. It's going to help you to leverage Facebook, but not let Facebook own all your data. I can't tell you, if we've seen it once, we've seen it a hundred times now. People that build on Facebook, maybe they got 10,000 names in their Facebook group and then Facebook shuts them down. Wouldn't you it's like borrowed that? borrowed real estate. It's, yep. It's yeah. <laughs> Right? Isn't it crazy? And we're not telling you not to do that. We're telling you to do that, but be able to track the data you put out there. Be able to pull those contacts into your own list and you own the data in the Organo app. Right? That's what's so important. Last but not least, we're going to talk about the leaderboard, rewards. So if I click right down here on the bottom of this screen, ongoing contest and promotions, you're going to see that there are two rewards. All I got to do is scroll right or scroll left, and it'll show these two different rewards. Go big, win big. The top three with 40-plus leads wins. Now, you say, what is a lead? It is a unique prospect. It had to be somebody unique you put in the app who you sent information to, and they engaged in that information. So K Karen Wheeler, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, has 12 points in this particular contest. Now, uh, um, and, and that's probably just a straight engagement, a unique exposure, sent information, who engaged. And, and if you want to know the contest details, you can click on it, and right there it'll tell you exactly what that contest is. That's one contest. Another contest is the Leaderboard 2020 contest. And Rob the third. now I would encourage Rob, he put his email in as his name. 
So when Rob puts somebody in an email campaign, it's going to show up, hey, Sally, Rob the third at so-and-so reached out to you. You want to just to say, hey, this is Rob, right? So I encourage Rob to make that change. But all the same, you know what? Rob is working. And uh, it's funny how success uh, follows hard work, <laughs> Micah. So Absolutely. even though his name may be in wrong, he's at the top of the leaderboard making it happen. So, so guys, there's a cool leaderboard here. And if you really want to have some fun with it today, go to the leaderboard, click on the brag button in the top right-hand corner, and then post this to your team or the Organo website. Go out there and post the leaderboard, whether you're on it or not, and say, you know what? I've got a goal. Here's what it is. I'm going to get on this leaderboard. Have some fun with it, and that's how you create a cadence of accountability. Now, Mike, I'm excited about the trainings that you're going to be delivering on an ongoing basis to drill down in some of these tools and these features and how people can use it to really explode their organization. Any closing thoughts here before we let these guys go? Yeah, I would just say that, um, you know, you, sometimes it, you might have some issues or you might see something that's not working how we showed you. I want to show them where support is real quick. You can always email support at rapidfunnel.com and that will create a trouble ticket. We've got a great support team that's very quick. You also will make the grow team available. Myself, Erna and Steffi, you'll have our contact for information as well. But if you just hit support there, the question mark, um, we'll also have a chat integrated there. You can hit that little pencil and create a, a ticket as well. And there's also a knowledge base of common mistakes or, or issues um, that, uh, that people have and, and how to fix them. So just want to make sure that you guys know that's right there in the app for you. So looking forward to working with you guys. We're going to crush it in 2020. Can't wait. Thanks, Micah. Appreciate it, everybody. Bye-bye for now.